what constitutes an ideal IMG CV? I have been getting these questions in every in-person session I have done in 200 plus medical colleges in the last three to four years. I have been getting these questions in every webinar since the time of this uh, COVID lockdown. I might have done about not less than 80 to 90 uh, sessions. All right. And in every session, this was a common question. I'm sure all of you have played, uh, you know, this kind of games back, you know, in your uh, childhood days, right? So very, very simple question, you know, when you create a building or when you create something, does it happen overnight? Okay. Very, very simple question I'm asking you, you know, whatever you do in your life, okay, does it happen overnight? You know, when you have to make something, all right, it does not, right? So that is exactly the point, you know, when it comes to a CV. All right. Please understand it's an ongoing process. There is no two minute Maggie noodle formula to be applied to get a well rounded CV. It is something, it is a reflection of your entire medical school journey over the years. So the anticipation that I do one, two, three things, I'm set. No, that does not work. It is something which you need to acquire over a period of time and it should become a holistic, uh, you know, profile that will determine your admission. Now, this is very, very important. The reason I'm spending this specific time on this building block, you might be wondering, you know, is because I want to shake this mentality that you know everybody is right now looking for a two minute maggie solution no it will not work out please understand people like vedant who are only worried step one pass on fail will it be easy hard well answer to your question is again here once the exam is becoming pass and a fail the only thing which is now becoming more and more important is your profile is your cv so do not ignore this. That's all I'm trying to tell you today. I am going to broadly let you know what are the key sections of the CV which are important, but you need to make sure you need to make sure that you are going to fix each and every block. You cannot say I do not have this foundation. Rest of the things are there. Will it work out? No, the entire thing will fall down. So each and everything has a weightage and accordingly you need to work around. That is one request which I am trying to, uh, you know, this is one message which I'm trying to put across to each one of you. When we are discussing about this profile, it is going to be very, very important for each one of you to understand. Okay. So what are the key ingredients for a successful CV? Okay. Now, what I am going to talk about is technically the headers or what you called as the important things which a program director looks when he or she is, uh, you know, checking or reviewing a profile. Now, I am not saying that, you know, uh, X has a weightage of 10% or a Y has a weightage of 20%, but usually, an ideal residency candidate would have done something or other in all of these bullet checklists. All right. So what are these checklists? You know, first, of course, is the education. What is your clinical experience? Do you have any teaching or academic experience? Mind you, everything is not compulsory. What kind of community leadership experience do you have? If you are already a graduate, you cannot say for three years, I was not doing anything after graduation, but preparing for USMLE. The immediate question will be, what about the work experience? Thanks to COVID, a lot of you got opportunity to work in community health or so public health experience. What do you have? What kind of associations you are involved where you are, you know, you know, actually advocating something, you are going for some community outreach events. So these are going to be very important factor. Publications, you know, very, very important. You know, 
make sure you are going to have some research okay that research should ultimately publish in an index journal which is which can be easily searched in something called as pubmed okay what is pubmed pubmed is the google of the journals which are approved in the american system okay so any research which is approved in pubmed important and of course language skills indians already have advantage of speaking multiple languages but currently many of my students at moksh are also preparing for spanish language spanish has a lot of advantage because that's the most spoken language currently in the img friendly states so that also helps you in your admissions all right so again uh, this is one factor uh, which you guys need to keep in mind all right okay very interesting question uh sheham is asking which year do we start research so research is something sheham uh, is not like a course where you enroll okay research is something which you will get it as and when you get opportunities in certain countries like india uh in second year uh, under the icmr there is something called the short term project that was for that that is your first exposure to research but the challenge is okay the challenge is that uh, you know uh, your success in that research is also dependent on how motivated is your project guide does he or she want to lead you to a successful index uh, journal publication so yes at any point of time if you are going to you know get an opportunity just pick it so do not wait for an opportunity you just keep your you know eyes and ears open and at the right time if you get something either in first second year during your icmr or in the internship year when you are actually interning with fellow resident doctors who are doing md ms in your own medical college they have to publish their research so if you do something with their thesis if you help them with some primary data and if their thesis get published even if you are a third or a fourth co-author there will be some publication in your profile approach specializations outside uh, basically uh, you know your med school so you know the only thing is if i know what i want i will keep asking people about it so today's session is to make sure to tell you that yes you will require these things in your cv okay now the question is are these the only things no there are many many more things which you need to also ensure now it's not compulsory that you do everything but yes these are the factors which people will look in your profile so if you say you have a work experience then they would want to know did you work in the same field so speciality focused experience community health what all things are you doing with your community medicine department or psm department what kind of jobs are you doing honors and awards what kind of academic or extracurricular awards have you got in your entire journey what kind of professional associations are you part of whether it is medical student associations or you know associations of indian medical associations or uh, you know there are professional like bombay psychiatry society so what kind of associations are you part of how many conferences cme seminars workshops have you attended have you yourself given any presentations have you presented your paper in let's say some event some inter medical college or intra medical college events what kind of interest and hobbies do you have so these are things which you need to kind of work around all right mr tepa is asking sir if we do research under indian professors will it help it does not matter whether your project guide is indian or uh, american what matters is is your publication published in an index journal with pubmed or not okay so these are key ingredients which are required for an ideal cv 
and you need to start working on that from now on all right so what do we do you know because i understand many of you are confused what to do where to begin i mean the questions never end so i have prepared few next steps for you either you can attend the moksha you know comprehensive usmle webinar you can schedule a personalized counseling session one on one you can attend the moksha faculties live lectures you can get access to the moksha usmle free trial login from our counselors and also you can appear for the moksha usmle step one mock test all right so all of these options are available uh, you can you know either email us on this number or whatsapp us on this whatsapp number and our team will definitely help you in this journey